Hey, it's Sasha Evdikov, and welcome to TradersFly.com, where I share with you some insight about trading, investing, and the stock market. Now, in this week's episode, what I'd like to do is share with you how you can use Trello as a trading journal, or if you don't have a trading journal, how you can use Trello, for those of you that are a little more tech savvy, to record, track, and manage your trades. Now, it's not going to really give you the ins and outs of everything as far as a trading journal may or may not, but it really comes down to depending on how you use it. So it's not gonna be like an Excel accounting format, but just gives you some insight for things that you can study. So what I'm gonna do is go to the screen, share with you some insight about Trello, how you can use it to benefit yourself for your trades, and how you can get the most out of it by using it as a trading journal. So this is really more for people that are a little more tech savvy, uh, but even if you're not, Trello's pretty friendly once you get the hang of it. So let's go to the screen. Let me share with you some insight about how you can use Trello to record, manage, and just learn from your trades. So here we are on the Trello board, and this is just something that I'm experimenting with right now as far as recording and journaling my trades. Now this of course is not used for accounting purposes, but it's just for me to learn from. And uh, depending on Trello or Evernote, which we will do a video on Evernote as well, uh, but depending on which one works out better, or maybe there's another tool out there that may work out for screen capturing, I think that will probably move along the lines of using one of these tools for actually managing and reevaluating my own personal trades just because of the screenshot factor. So if you're not familiar with Trello, let me give you a quick breakdown and um, show you what it's really all about and that way you can get a feel for it. Uh, of course, there's other videos and trainings that you can read about, but in simplicity, uh, you have boards. So it's kind of like a sticky notepad. If you think about sticky notes and how you can move them around and rearrange them, that's really how it works. And you have different sections of sticky notes. So let's just go into the welcome board here, which will have your own different sticky notes. And what you can do is you can drag these different sticky notes around into different areas. So what you can do is create another little sub board or list of things. So if we create list one, what I can do is add things under here. You could use it as a to-do list and do it that way um, and then drag things around. But as you can see, you can even add in pictures and that's the beauty of it uh, behind Trello's that we'll be able to add in pictures. And when you click this, you can actually see when the pictures are attached, added and so forth. And for me, the beauty behind it is you don't really have to upload a picture by hitting an upload button or anything. All you have to do is copy and paste. So if you know how to do the control C, control V method on your keyboard and you have some screen capture software, then what you can do is just paste the picture in and it'll automatically upload it. So before we get to that, uh, what I want to do is go ahead and share with you how you may use this on your stock trades. So if we go back to that homepage here, uh, you can see I have a few different boards set up and this is just more for demo purposes. So what I'll do is go into the active trades area and here I set up just some demo uh, trade just so you can get an idea of how I could manage my trades and look at my trades as I'm working within um, Trello. And what I can do is I can create this list. So if I uh, started a new trade, such as an Apple trade, and I can input the date, and for me, I have a text expander, so I just type in S date, and it'll output the date, and that'll be my new list. And now what I can do is start adding in, you know, different pictures, different trades, and things like that. So here, what I've done is already entered one for, um, VRX. And if you notice here, they're in order, uh, chronological order. So you can see I put the date in there. Uh, that way I know what card relates to what. But if you forget, if you click it, it'll actually tell you when things were uploaded and when things were added. So the beauty is adding these pictures. So when you click this 
uh, board or this little card, it opens it up in this format, which allows you to comment and interact and really do a lot of great things for business purposes. But for our purposes, we're using it as a journal. So what we can do is if we click the picture, you can see that here I've added this screenshot where you would enter the trade or enter the trade here. Now, again, remember, this is just for demo purposes and the stock is actually much further ahead than where it is right now. So after you do that, you can go ahead a few days later, you can say, okay, I went ahead and added another note, took some profits here. Uh, it's coming up into some support resistance. Then you have another uh, picture. So here it is. There's my 2000 shares profit. You let the rest ride as that stock is coming and powering higher. Okay, so here we go, then continues, stock moves up. So there it is. Our initial point was right here. And then we continued to move higher with the supporting trend line, stock broke, and then we exited that position. So you can use it this way where you have different cards for your, um, for your trade. And the way you would go about it, so let's say we're doing an Apple trade. So the first thing I may do is I may pop a chart of Apple up. So before we go ahead and do the screenshot, if you don't have a screenshot tool, Lightshot right here, which is app.prntscr.com, uh, is a great little tool. So what you could do is download this tool, and when you hit the print screen, you can just hit Control-C, and it'll copy it to your uh, desktop or to your clipboard, and uh, it's a free tool. So take a look at this tool if you don't have a screen capture software. Now looking at the Apple chart, you can see here we have the chart, and if we want to go ahead and put this chart in, I'll just hit the print screen on my keyboard, and what I may do is go ahead and actually select it by dragging it. So here I've selected the area, and you can see that we have a few buttons here on the side. Now, if I move this over, you can see that we actually have some annotation um, annotation buttons here as well. So I could annotate the chart as well and draw different lines of support and resistance or notes if I wanted to in there. Now the beauty here is to be able to copy right here by hitting this button or you can just hit control C. So once I copied this to my clipboard, what I can do is go back to Trello and here now that we are in Trello, I may go ahead and make a little note so I can say, uh, looking to enter Apple or entered Apple at a certain price. And then what I'll do is pop this up by clicking it. And now I just hit control V or what you could do is actually upload by dragging and dropping, but I find that time consuming. So for me, I'm always looking to streamline things. So if I just hit control V, you can see it's processing the upload and it just takes a few seconds. And once the upload is processed, it's going to pop it up right here in the window. So there you go. As you can see, I've added this into Trello and we have our picture or screenshot of the chart. And if we click it, you can see a nice large version of it. And uh, if you want to make it as the cover picture, you just hit make cover. And now you can see the chart is right there. So when you click it and you click it again, then it opens up nice big picture of that chart. And you can continue adding the next card and just continue adding more and more data as you move through, uh, through, the, um, through the trade or through watching the charts. And this is just one way to go ahead and record and journal entry. So here what I've done is added a few more trading examples that you can see of how I would manage it maybe in Trello or just give you some ideas. Again, these are just examples. So looking at CMG, uh, let's just say you're looking to short that stock. So let's say you created a chart. You're saying, okay, uh, this is on my watch list. If you're using it as a watch list, then you say, okay, it's approaching this resistance. If it's acting weak, I'm going to short it. If it powers higher, I'm going to enter it long. So then you take a look at what happened and what you did. You can record it. So there was the resistance line, the stock sold off. So you short the stock and you can mark it in your notes. Entry point, 200 shares, and you can say short. And then you can go ahead and continue this process. So now here's your resistance line, here's the support line. And if you needed to take some profits as the stock is approaching the support line because it can bounce, then you can go ahead and mark it and annotate it within the software or the program or within just Trello. And it just allows you to capture those screenshots and continue through the trades.
Now you can do the same thing with, let's say, an option trade, Netflix. So here you have Netflix. So here's your initial uh, chart, what it looks like. And then you can say, okay, well, here's my initial setup and where the stock is and how it's doing. So I'm at zero dollars or nine cents in profit. I have one contract. I have a calendar spread and there's all my theta, vegas, uh, deltas and gammas. All my Greeks are there. So you can always reference back. And then as the as the stock continues to move on, you can go ahead and add annotations saying, okay, well, uh, on this day, it was up $11, okay? And then you can attach a uh, regular chart as well. And then here you can say, okay, now we're up at uh, $32 in profit on uh, this date, let's say October 27th, 2015. So you can do it that way as well. Um, now, if you don't like this method of using the list and you want, to be a little more compact, such as you're more active in trading, you could do one card per trade. So that way it's every card for each trade and you can move the trades around, such as if you have a success or a winner area or a review or a failed trades or scratch trades. So that, those are trades that you broke even on. So then if it's successful, you can move it to success and you can label it as a green so you know it's success. Now the way to do this is you just make one card for the trade. So what you do then is, and in fact it's again chronological, so you have to start at the bottom because as you start adding onto it, so here would be your Netflix trade again, and then um, you know you wait a day or two and you can add a comment here and then you add your next picture and then you can start reviewing the trade. Okay, a few days later, Netflix is pulling back slightly, which is helping out our calendar. And then you can show that picture that it's up in $32 profit and it's October 27th. So you continue doing this process. And if you were to do this with, let's say, VRX, the same thing. So you would add your comment right here based on how the stock is doing, how it's performing. Then what you can do is take a screen capture of the chart or the trade or whatever it is that you're doing. You can go ahead and select it. And once it's selected, you just copy it, control C, and then we go back to our Trello board. And now we simply just paste it in there and there it goes. So in this case, we just pasted it in a chart of Apple, but you can see that you added our comment right there. We can add another comment if we want and just continue to add notes and annotations to our trade. Of course, you'd have to read it in reverse, but all in all, you get to see screen captures of your trades, how they're performing, and you can look back on things. And if that was a successful trade, what you could do is go ahead and mark it as green by pressing one on the keyboard, move it into the successful trades. And then later, what you could do is archive them by month or uh, by year. It's totally up to you depending on how many trades you're doing. So if we have uh, 2015 previous trades list right here. What we can do is we can move this success, move all the cards in the list, um, move list right here, and we'll just move it to the previous trades. And there we go. And now we can see all our success trades. And then if we had a failed list, we would have a failed list and that way we can review it and we can just continue to build all these different boards out year after year. So then we may have a 2016 uh, trades and so on. So you just continue to build this out as you start progressing in trades. So this is an option for you if you're interested in Trello or you like using Trello. It's very quick and friendly. We use it extensively in our business side of um, you know, education. So from uh, creating blog ideas and blog posts, but I'm experimenting with ideas about using this actually in my own trading as well. I'm still debating between this and Evernote, and we'll see how Evernote does as I do more tests and get more friendly with it and see how things play out. So uh, this is a great starting point for those of you that like to quickly screen capture the charts, and uh, it works out really well since you are also able to use it as a mobile device as well. 
Now Trello is absolutely free and you can use it just the way that I shared in this video without purchasing any additional plans. Now they do have some additional plans that if you want to change your background color or just some other little benefits, then you can go ahead and purchase a plan within Trello, but you don't have to do that. Now, one of the ways to get free additional bonuses within Trello is just to recommend it to people and share your link with them. So if you want to go ahead and sign up to Trello and you want to give me some credit for the sign up, it doesn't cost you anything extra. But in order to do that, all you need to do is just go to trello.com slash Sasha Evdikov slash recommend and then just sign up. And again, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it just gives me an extra free month of Trello gold. Nevertheless, hopefully this gave you some motivation to start or create some journal entries for your trades if you're doing trading. If you're into more of the technology tools, then maybe this is just a little bit of an easier way to track your trades and manage those trades. So that way it's not cumbersome, but that way you can also go back and learn from them. All right, so there you go. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful about how to use Trello to learn from your trades, to record your current or active trades, and just manage your stock market portfolio a little bit to see how things are doing and just learn from them. Remember that a trading journal is really beneficial because you get to learn from them and you only get to learn from it if you get to look and see your past trades. Now, if you're not able to do that, if you're not able to look and study your past trades or you don't do that, then there's really no point of keeping a trading journal. Now, if you don't keep a trading journal, chances are you probably don't have a system in place and you're probably not treating this seriously enough to the point of treating it like a business. So keep a trading journal, whether that's in Trello or some other form, uh, but really, Trello is a good way to start if you like the application, uh, but if you just want to use pen and paper, that works out just fine. But hopefully this gave you some insight to using another tool as a trading journal if you don't have one in place. So hopefully if you don't even have a trading journal, maybe it moves you past that hurdle and gets you started in creating one. And just by seeing how easy it is to do, you can see that it doesn't take a lot of time to create a trading journal and just continue to learn from your trades or go back and study some of your past trades to see what you did right, to see what you did wrong, and to see what actually you can do to improve. Because in the end, it's all about you. It's about how you can get better. All right, so thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you found it helpful and insightful. And if you did and you wanna see some more videos like this one or even longer form videos, like my stock market recaps that are sometimes 20 to 35 minutes long, about the current market conditions, then go ahead, click this link right up here. When you get there, enter your name and email address and you'll get notified through email when a new recap is released. But if you just wanna continue hanging out on YouTube, then just click one of the thumbnails right below and you'll continue learning with some of the other lessons that I have available. Thanks for joining me and remember that there's more to life than just financial gains. Go out, do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.